Just got done bailing this five acres. I'm gonna say there's, I don't know, like, let's say three and a half here, and the balance in is behind my house there. Um, I'm gonna say like one and a half acres back there. I have a hundred bale back there, and I got 180 bales here. Now my boy's truck is loaded with the gooseneck. That came from the 10 acres oh, a week or so ago. People have been coming and buying right off it. I'm not gonna unstack it if they're coming to get it right away. But I just wanna show you the, hey, what it looks like here. I don't know, it looks fairly decent. It's basically all fescue. Don't want to handle this stuff too much. Because the thing with fescue and second cut gets pretty chaffy. So, you know, it was a foot tall when we cut it. But, you know, we cut this back the first week of June, and here it is the 19th of August we're making second cut last year you know we had ample rain and we were making second cut six weeks after first and then we made third six weeks after that and we even got a fourth cut in last year but that just shows you what no precipitation will do for you absolutely nothing so I mean I guess Considering other places in the country here, they're down Texas, they're dry as a popcorn. So, I guess we ought to be happy we had what we did have. So, yeah, we'll just uh, take what we can get and hope for a better year next year. He's prepping an area to put these in. His fiance was out here with the other skid steer. The boys got the 650 Bobcat, the wheeled machine. And his fiance, she is, I guess she's in the back, back there. And she has the Bobcat 630, which is a track machine. So, I guess that's where she's at. I don't hear. But, I don't know. I want to get you guys some footage of these guys doing something. So, the boy's going in there. I guess he's going to move a couple stacks. I don't know. Let's, I guess we'll jump in the. We'll jump in Sparky here, and we'll go take a ride and see if we can find her, because I have no clue where she's at. Better turn the radio off. Don't get in trouble for that. Well, it's She's BSing. I see him down there. Just talking, not working. Look at him down there. Jeez. I'll get you down here. We'll see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's got eight. 
Nine's over the little crest of the hill there. And there's ten. But look at them. They're just standing there. Killing daylight. Not working. Good help so hard to find anymore. Nah, I'm just kidding. They're good. They're good kids. They got jobs outside of this. And they do good in their jobs and they hurry up and get here and get this hay business up and running. There's our other stack down there. So, so yeah. Maybe she'll get going. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know if I can get them from talking. So, maybe she'll get busy. Yeah, I think they're done talking, finally. That's my oldest boy. And then that's the youngest boy's a fiance in the T630. So here she goes. She's finally going to get something done. We'll see. Since we're so close to the barn, they're just going to... Uh, Trek them and stack them. And that way they're not having to trek all the way across the other field and back down to here, so. It's not super efficient, but trailer's hooked up. I really don't feel like unhooking the New Holland and dragging a gooseneck trailer around with that right now. So, so yeah, she works pretty good on that skid steer. She's got enough hours on now. She can uh, she stacks the trailer quite well. We don't even have to uh, tie them down when she stacks when we're down that 30 acres, which is about 12 miles away. She can stack them pretty tight. And uh, we haul them up here without a single strap. So, all right, folks. Well, that's gonna be it. That's second cut here at home. 280 bales on 5.2 acres. So, not the greatest, but we'll take what we can uh, get our hands on this year. So, hope everyone has a good one. And uh, we got oh. 20 or 30 more acres to do yet but it won't be this coming week uh we're going to be getting some rain they're saying four or five days so we'll take the rain for sure but yeah take a look again at this hay you know i weighed the i uh, scaled oh eight or ten of these I run four or five packs and then I got a hanging scale on the baler. I'll pick one up and hang it on there and they're between 49 and 51 pounds so good weight and uh, yeah these are all sold so we're good for that I guess so till next time guys we'll see you